Hello there, today I'm here to bring you a review of The Birth Machine by Elizabeth Baines. This is the second book I have read for my Puzzling in Independent Publishers series and it is published by Salt. I will link details of the series and the Salt books that I will be reading down below. This was fantastic. It really blew me away more than any book has this year. So firstly, I think it's important to say, and I didn't realise this until after I had read this, that this was originally written in 1987 and it was published in a few different guises over the years but Salt published this in 2010. So it's written from a standpoint of sort of medic medicine not necessarily being as developed as it is now because throughout I was sort of confused about that so I think it is important to say that it was written quite a while ago. So this looks at a world in which women are induced before they come to term. Basically a machine or the birth machine controls their pregnancy the amount of chemicals that are used and things like that can control how fast the labour goes or how slowly or they can stop it altogether. Things that people kind of do in this day and age and I mean they very much talk about monitoring the pregnancy and having monitors on the baby and things like that which obviously nowadays we do but it kind of takes it to the extreme and this basically is about a woman called Zelda who is one of the first women to experience this birth machine from very early on it gets quite confusing and the first few pages you have no clue what's going on. Time jumps all over the place, characters jump all over the place. But don't worry about that, stick with it because you soon realise that the confusion is just there to add to what's happening. So Zelda has not been told why she's going in for induction, she's just been told that she needs to be induced. Her husband who works at the same hospital as the inductions are being carried out is kind of keeping her in the dark as well and he sort of says it's something to do with her losing weight and the fact that they're worried that the placenta is not getting what it needs which isn't true basically Zelda is being taken on on this clinical trial and she's not even being told about it this predominantly looks at the idea of medicine and how medicine is kind of taking away the role of nature and meddling in things that maybe it shouldn't meddle in it's also looking at feminism and womanhood and the fact that having a child is the most courageous and womanly thing that you can do and yet it's being taken away from her by these men in medicine and they're not even telling her what's happening to her own body. There's also the feeling that the concentration is very much on the baby and the baby's safety and the mother almost just becomes this pointless vessel. She's not being told anything. She has been removed from the process of birth basically. It kind of also looks at Zelda's past and she used to be involved in sort of this witchcraftery and somebody ends up dying because of this and it looks at that and to begin with we're sort of jumping in a fairly understandable way between the two tenses but as time goes on and Zelda gets more and more confused about what's happening the two things start intertwining and she starts seeing people from her past in her present and in the room with her while she's having the baby and it's really well done because you get confused but it works because you understand that that is because Zelda has no clue what's going on and you sort of start from that confused perspective getting a little bit of an idea more of what is happening. In the afterword by the author she says that this was very much about the idea of medicine removing people from what's happening to their own body which is interesting because that's a theme that I've sort of had quite a bit about at the moment about the idea of humans being removed from sort of the ins and outs of their body and especially the ins and outs of death and birth and things like that so there is that very much in there but for me what was really good was the feminist aspect which actually in an afterword from the author she said that it was very much the medical aspect that she wanted to get across and the feminist aspect was because of where it was first published it was published in a woman's press um, and they wanted her to sort of add that aspect in there but for me what really came across especially from the flicking back to the past was the fact that there's a lot of guilt involved and Zelda is sort of made to feel as though she's inferior and that she's not capable of giving birth because of either things she has done in her past or also the fact that they tell her that it's because she's losing weight and she very much feels inferior and like she has failed her child for a while and then she realises that actually they're saying that she's completely healthy and she's completely normal and she starts to realise more about what's happening and when the urge to push comes they tell her not to do it because that would be her interfering with the machinery and she gets this primal urge to do it anyway and she completely realises what's happening and nature sort of for a while looks like it's going to come back and take over and that's when things start getting really confusing and medicine inter intervenes again. It is fascinating, there is so much packed into here, it's only 150 pages just short of I think, 
but there is so much in here and it's so deep. The themes are just fascinating. As I say, some of the medical stuff can be quite confusing because obviously a lot of that we do do now, but I think that can kind of be interesting in its own aspect. The fact that this was written a long time ago and it discusses things that are actually happening and it's one of those things where dystopia very much it's an idea of what's going to happen before it's happened i don't know where birth medicine was at in the in 1987 but judging from this induction and things like that weren't necessarily used as much so i would definitely definitely recommend this i'm so glad i read it and this is exactly why i wanted to do this series i wanted to find books like this that completely blew me out the water and I had never heard anything about it before and I never would have come across it if I hadn't done this. So I'm very, very pleased. So that's everything and I'll see you next time. Bye.